Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bill Tabbert, and always welcome to my shop. We're continuing the work on our Volmer VJ22, which is right here. So, shall we take a look at this? Okay. And uh, we're focusing today on the main gear system. Now, when Mr. Volmer designed these things, you had a big Johnson bar that you had to heave ho and try to lock into place. Kind of a pain in the butt, especially trying to fly the plane with one hand throttle, and uh, it, it worked, but it was a pain. I got almost 300 hours in one of these things. Always a pain to get that up in there. Somewhere along the line, somebody came up with a rotary system, and this is part of one right here, uh, using a chain and some cables, and it worked pretty good, much better than the, uh, the Johnson bar. Some folks changed out the big heavy springs that is in the design. Now this spring came out of this aircraft, weighs four and a half pounds. There was two of them, so that's nine pounds right there with uh, bungees. Well, the bungees work pretty good too, but no matter what, you can't escape uh, lifting that Johnson bar up through there. Now what we've done is we're utilizing a small motor with a gear reduction worm gear, self-locking, attached it directly to uh, the, uh, the main structure for the gear going across and have a little block and tackle system hooking onto the existing brackets what we're pulling uh, what was, I'm sorry, what was supporting this spring right here. So Charlie, if you could please, let's kind of come in here and take a look. And I'll go on the other side of the airplane. All right, that's the gear. These are about 30 bucks on Amazon. That one's a, uh, I think a 12 or 15 RPM per minute motor. We've built a little can right here. Uh, it looks like a thimble. Right there. The cable wraps up on this. A simple block and tackle system. If you look up in there, these cables hook directly to where the original, as designed, uh, springs hooked up. Come down through here like this. And hooks onto another little block and tackle. And of course, you got the motor down there. We hooked, uh, made a fabricated a bracket and got it set up real nice there where it works nice and straight. Um, we've created a little mechanical advantage right here so that uh, the angle for the initial pull is not so, uh, so steep. This works pretty well. And of course, a little bit of electrical. Now, the big question everybody's going to have is what to weight all this. Everything combined that we've added weighs about just under five pounds, but let's call it five pounds for grins. We've installed a little switch right here. It will not work, even with the master on, it will not work on our panel of switches we have over here. You have to kick that switch on, which we don't have labeled yet, that lights up the, uh, the, the gear actuating switch and now it'll function, all right? So we're gonna shut it back off. And the purpose of that is so you don't make a mistake and hit it when you don't intend to. Another thing we've done here is, is we wanted redundancy. So if this motor fails, if something happens and it doesn't work, we wanted to be able to operate it. So what we've got here is a grenade pin that we've installed. So we can pull this pin, and if it doesn't pop out on itself, we left a little tattletale right here that we can yank that out and it, removes this cable out of here and you can still operate this by hand albeit with no assistance from any springs but it's certainly a, a backup system so you're you're not out of totally if you lose your electronics all right and again the whole thing weighs about five pounds there is a drawback to this we could have made it work much quicker but we would have had to add about another five or six pounds for a stronger motor the gear reduction and everything that we have applied here results in about about one minute one minute and five seconds for the gear to come up and the same going down there's very little stress on the motor it should last a long time in fact that same frame motor we could uh probably increase the rpms and make it operate a little bit faster but you're you know you've got a significant weight and balance uh difference moving this gear forward so you know if it takes a minute to go up it doesn't draw even a an amp about 1.2 amps we've tested it so it's, it's not a big draw on the system. And uh, Charlie, if you back off, 
I guess we'll uh, start this thing. All right. And we've changed nothing from the original design. So was, as always, you have to unlock the pins and give a little to make sure that uh, they are unlocked. Now we don't have it installed yet because we're waiting on it, but these two wires right here are going to have a micro switch hooked right here. So when it does get up, if you make a mistake and don't uh, release the trigger, it's going to interrupt the circuit and prevent it from going up any further as a safety feature. Uh, very easily installed. We just don't have it installed yet. All right, here we go. Oh, let's turn it on. All right. All right, Charlie, you can come in here and watch the motor working. All right, I'll take it for a second. All right. It's not even straining the motor. We could, in fact, put a faster motor on there. And uh, we did have another one on there, and it was straining it a little bit, so we backed off to a more powerful, uh, which reduces the uh, RPMs per minute. We went from a 40 RPM per minute to a, I, I don't know, I'll look it up as 12 or 17 RPM per minute, resulting in the slow operation. But I'm not having to lift it up. And I also cut off six or seven pounds from the aircraft. Now, Charlie, if you focus up here, Again, we're gonna have, uh, right here, son, we're gonna have a micro switch shutting it off simultaneously when it clicks into this latch up here. All right, she's just about ready to latch. Done. And uh, that's it. We're <laughs> when I get ready to fly this thing, I'm pretty happy I'm not gonna have to heave ho that Johnson bar up and down again. Now the same thing, to go down, Release it. It takes about a minute for it to go down. Oh, you okay, let me show that working on this side. So back there we have eighth inch cables on the bridle. 304. These are 1 16th inch cables. I think they're good for about 480 pounds. And we do have, I was going to put an eighth inch cable right here, but in fact I want that to be the weak link. So if something does uh, arise and we have a problem, I would rather that break than start crushing structural items. Okay, Charlie, you can take that back. Now this pretty much brings itself all the way down. and stops right there. Now I was going to add another uh, pulley with a 16th inch cable to help pull it down a little bit further, but what we're counting on is when you're flying along, the wind catching on this gear, I mean it just doesn't take nothing to put it down. It's very easily done and I'm pretty sure the wind uh, from the aircraft speed is going to force it the rest of the way down. And if it doesn't, We'll add another little 16th of an inch cable with a, a bungee in the back somewhere so it pulls it all the way down. But I'm always weight conscious and trying to simplify things. Um, I hope this uh, is interesting to any of the uh, Volmer guys and really anybody else that has some sort of retractable system that you want to employ in an experimental airplane. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them. Enjoy and uh, watch out for the crazies.